Cheap Bookies. Today we are going to go over the, I think this is February 2022, um, what's upon a book club box. <laughs> See? Let's get started. Um, am a VIP for Once Upon a Book Club, um, which means that like I have a code, which is Pot the Butterfly 10. I'll have it somewhere up here. Um, <clears throat> and you can use it for subscriptions, for things in the shop, etc. But sometimes that means I also get sent free boxes that they have left over. Um, I believe this one is from February 2022, but I might be wrong in that. January, February 2022. Anyways, it is the Stor the storyteller, um, actually technically the book club box was called, or the theme was the Romanoff Princess Box, um, which features the storyteller by Catherine Williams. If you can tell by the change of clothes, it's been, it's been a bit, um, it's been like two days, three days, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I don't remember where we left off. I'm going to explain, um, what Once Upon a Book Club Box is. So if I already started to, I'm so sorry. We're going to again. Anyways, so Once Upon a Book Club box is this monthly subscription box. They offer adult YA and middle grade now. They just started doing middle grade and it's freaking adorable. They, um, of course, send a book and their monthly box. But instead of having just random items that are fandom based and stuff like that, um, all of the items in the box are themed after events that happen in the book. So, for example, you're reading The Storyteller by Catherine Williams, which was the book for the Romanoff Princess box. And you're reading, and you're reading, and you're reading, and you're reading, and you get to page 42. It'll say, open your gift. That is when you find the page 42 in here, and you open it. Um, so that is what we're going to do. Um, besides, you know, doing that, that, which is pretty awesome, especially if you are doing a book club, this is pretty awesome to help tie together elements of the book into gifts and to talk about them as a group, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they also include a bookmark with a quote on it. This one is forget who you are and become who you need to be. Um, we have the little book plate, signed book plate. We have a print with the author letter on the back um, and this one I just love them because they're all pretty and I post them up on my art wall and then we have a book club kit that has um, conversation with Katherine Williams so they interviewed her they have discussion questions um, these will be gone over in their Facebook group and sometimes on their lives um, there's read-along dates um, and then this one was tune in March 1st at 6 p.m. EST when we're going to open up the following the gifts. And then on the back is usually a little activity. Um, in one box it was a recipe that tied into the book. In another it was a crossword puzzle. This one is write your own story. And it said, if just learned anything from Aunt Anna, it is that you can write your own story. Imagine that you're writing a journal entry to a future dis a descendant about your favorite memories and greatest adventures. So yeah, I have a little space to write in here. Anyways, beyond that, back to what we have. Page 42, um, it says, and it'll have the sticky note about like where um, it is that what, whatever is being talked about. The cover is brown leather is embossed with an ornate double-headed eagle. The edges of the pages are gilded. Very gently, I flip it open and am greeted with the almondy sweet scent of a library, the decay of paper ink. Letters swim across the page in sharp slants and round loops. Some look familiar, a K here and an M there, but I have no idea what they say. It's nonsense. So what is the item for this? We have a little candle that is called Library. Um, and it smells of teakwood, cedar, sandalwood, and vanilla. Oh yeah, that smells really good. All right, the next one is a few pages away. This one says, but why? I said, I asked, um, Sergi, 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 you again. Did Papa say why he had chosen me? 
She has always been the bravest. It is a responsibility greater than any per person should ever bear. The clock in the drawing room struck 8 o'clock. I would like to go to bed, I told Sergey. A an exhaustion devoid of feeling has overtaken me. Okay. Two seventy. Oh, it's a clock. Oh, this is pretty. I needed a clock actually for my house. It says objects are stories in physical form, which is a quote from the book. Um, it looks like it requires a double A, so that would be, that's actually pretty good for a clock like this. Yeah, it looks so pretty. Definitely going to get you set in this, um, that, which is what I really like about, oh, we have a little thingy, I don't know what that's for, which is what I really like about um, Once Upon a Book Club box, is that you do get tons of use out of all of the items. Um, they're not just you know, like paper items that are like, you know, kind of useless or whatever. They're, you know, for the vast majority of the time, they are highly useful items like clocks. And then the last one for this box, because every box um, usually does three to four, sometimes five items. Um, and the special edition ones, they have a lot more, obviously. Um, this one just had the three. Um, the thing says, the last and third box holds more papers, one black and white marble composition book, and a stack of official looking letters with address labels from the State Department, the U United States Information Agency, and the White House. I opened the last one to find a typed letter from President Dwight D. Eisenhower, thanking Professor Wallace for his valuable service to this country at a time of great political uncertainty. The letter below it, at the bo bottom of the box, has one word written on the top in the form uh, in front of the envelope. Henry. It's the handwriting that stops the cold. Spidery, familiar, cursive. Only it's in English. I turn the envelope over in my hands. They tremble. The letter has never been opened. All right. This one's taped close. Come on. Let me open you. There we go. Ooh. And then sometimes items are more gimmicky than others. This one is really cool. It has um, Henry and it has book fund on it. Um, so you can definitely take this out if you want. This is this back part just slides up. Um, you can take out the envelope. Oh, and it has uh, the letter from there. They pay really good attention to detail. I will say that. <laughs> um, you can take this out and have it as a separate prop, which that is what I am going to do. Um, and this, personally, I think is just a little... Um, money thing that you can use to put money in or whatever. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it looks really cool. I like it. And yeah, that is everything that was in this box. That is everything that Once Upon a Book Club box is. Um, they are super awesome. Again, I have a code. It is Pop the Butterfly 10. It'll be across here. I uh, always leave a link in, down below in the description with my code um, to the website where you can go. You can use it on subs. You can use it on single boxes. You can use it in the shop. Use it wherever, however you want. Um, and yeah. So thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all later and go check out Once Upon a Book Club box. Bye.